I'm Blossom. And I'm Zoe. And today we are going to be reviewing Timmy Failure, yeah. the okay. book you're, you're not, not supposed, supposed to have. have. Well, why is it called that? Mm -hmm. But before we start, how are you guys doing this weekend? As for us, we're doing great. Yes, we are just, as always, doing book free reviews for you guys. <laughs> and you good. know how we said we are doing a segment, segment. A segment on. Like a Thing. Yeah, like you know the sort of books in the last twelve months, and Doc, Doc Diaries, Diaries and Mary Poppins. Yeah. So we're gonna be doing a segment on all um Timmy failures. As you know that we did like Timmy failure, mistakes were made, Nana called you down, we meet again in the top twelve books in the last twelve months. So you don't have to um look for that. You can look for that on the top, top twelve, 12 books. books. Yeah, that's one of the last I think the second to last book reviews. Mm -hmm. And last week we did um Timmy Failey Sanitize for your protection. The green one. Yes. So this is the book now we are going to be reviewing. So let me guys read let me just read you guys the blurb so you have a little idea of what it is about. I am bad. The book you hold in your hands was never meant to exist. You don't need the details. Just know this. I am banned from detective work. If this gets out, I will be grounded for life. Or maybe longer. So please put the book down and stop reading. And that's where it stops. And then it's some <laughs> quotes. Timmy Fairley is a fantastical, brilliant genius. And the whole world needs to know it. Molly Moskins. If you like crazy stories that are hilarious, then this is the book for you. Tamaz, I think this says Tamaz, age 11, lovereadingforkids.co.uk. So, when I read this book, I was like, what do you mean? I, my mum bought this book, so I'm going to read it, okay? I don't care what you say. And then I started reading it, and this is what I saw. I started reading it, and I really want to read you a bit of the book to you guys because it's so funny. Okay, yes, me. So, um, so then after that, this is what's um happening. So it says that you're not supposed to read the book. So it says, so if you're going to keep reading, and so far I haven't been able to stop you, I need you to raise your right hand and swear to follow to the following oath. I state your name. Do hereby agree to never reveal the contents of this book to anyone, including but not limited to Timmy Timmy's mother, who would crush Timmy like a bug if she ever found out he was doing detective work during the time of his banishment. And 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 she made me do this. Well, she didn't finish it, so yeah. <laughs> I was like, I can't do this, no, okay, no more. Yeah. So, and then after this says, and I do further agree that if any part of this oath shall be broken by me, intentionally or otherwise, I shall be subjected to the following punishment. I will be covered in mustard and eaten by a polar bear. Total. But... Divine, it's just saying that you can't tell anyone, otherwise that's what's going to happen to you. So you can't tell anyone about this book, about what happens. So basically, as you guys know, what it said here, this book is about Timmy Failure getting banished from doing detective well, work. Well, we're telling the whole world already, so... Yeah. So this is about Timmy Failure getting banished from detective work. Sorry, Timmy's mum, wherever you are. Yes, I'm going to tell everyone about this. Sorry, Timmy Failure, wherever you are. I have to, so whatever. <laughs> um, this is about him doing detective work behind his mum's back. And as it said in the um, following subject statement, whatever, the hereby thing, it says that if you tell my mum, I'll be crushed like a bug. I don't want to see Timmy Faye crush like a bug, but I'm reviewing, so I have to. <laughs> so, this book is about Timmy Faye going behind his mum's back and his parents' back, well, his um, step, uh, well, Dorman's, Dave's back, and doing detective work when he wasn't supposed to. Oh. This book, apparently, was never supposed to happen. He just wrote a dialogue, but it was never supposed to get sent out to the world. So apparently, it's sent out to the world, but his mum still doesn't know. Maybe she just doesn't know what internet is, or she doesn't know what Wi-Fi is, or she doesn't know what electronics are, because, yeah. <laughs> so, I like this book because even though um, it's very, very funny saying, literally, do not read this book, 
don't read this book and it keeps trying to tell you to not read this book even look timmy failure's doing a thumbs down like don't read this book oh. like don't read this book like no don't and he still says um author's note from the desk of Timmy Fadia. This book was never was not meant for publication. It is a private record of a sensitive time in my life as a detective. And Dad, the manuscript was stolen, which is how it ended up in your hands. So please put the book down and stop reading. Thanks. Okay. But I was just like, who cares about that? And I was like, preface, preface. Oh look, you're still reading, and I'm not going to read any more books. What happens you guys at the don't. end? I can't tell you that. <laughs> anyway, I can't tell you guys any more because I want you guys to read the book. But of course, read all the other books before you read this book. But still, I feel like it was quite funny how they were saying the book that you're not supposed to have. It was even doing upside down. It even gave you an author's note and everything saying, don't read the book. Okay. Don't pick it up. Please put the book down. The one that you spent about £6.99 on, just £7 on it. Just put it down. And maybe send it back. And we'll give the money back to you. Yeah. But I was like, no, that's not going to happen. So I started reading the book. And it was very funny. Uh, I think I get why he didn't want any. I, sometimes I, I don't really think I got why he didn't want to send the book out. Because it wasn't too embarrassing. But I also did get it because he doesn't want to be crushed like a bug. So, yes. I like this book because of the colour. And it's very funny because he was just like seriously put it down. He's wearing glasses, like he's the cool one. Like seriously, just put it down. <laughs> what? <laughs> seriously, just put it down. What's that? What's that? Just put it down. <laughs> okay. Um, I also love the pictures. I don't know why I like this picture. This statue getting kicked with a high heel. <laughs> Hope you can see that. <laughs> And it talks about him with his cousins and all that stuff. Okay, I'm just going to keep showing you some stuff. Oh, gosh. And actually, there's something about Molly Moskins. So, yeah. Also, as I say, I love about this book because about all the comments. So, if you're like, hmm, I want to read Timmy Fahey and I want to read this. I want to see what Timmy's fans say. And then you can see what they say and you're like, hmm, I actually like this. So I'm going to read what Timmy's fans say so you guys would want to read the book. What's Timmy's fans say? I know. This is what Timmy's fans say. <laughs> this inspired book will prompt outbursts of laughter. Okay, the Sunday Times, 100 children's modern classics. One of those laugh your head off and try not to be sick books. Charlie, age nine, love reading for kids. Co. Uk, a fabulously fun read, original and quirky with real heart. Why do I think these are the exact same ones from last time? Philip, uh, oh gosh, is the name of them? Ada, I think it's Ada. I'm really sorry if I say this wrong. Please. Sorry, Ada or whatever your name is. Philip. I'm just gonna say Philip. Philip. Sorry, Philip. Um, Guardian. This is hilarious. This is a hilarious, well-written story with totally captivating illustrations. This man, or boy, or woman, or girl knows it because this is from. We love this book. <laughs> nice username. Um, yes, I really like the illustrations. I really like the pictures. He draw them all himself, and I feel like that's really good. And also, I like the book because sometimes at the end of some books, not on all books but some books they show you how to draw Timmy Failure in total so you can actually start drawing it and see how he looks like Ooh. and everything and see how you're good at it and for Timmy Failure success is the only option we had that last time mm -hmm. Lincoln Pierce creator of Big Nate and uh what else seldom has failure been so likable or so funny the Wall Street Journal a great book for kids to read themselves or for adults and kids to read together. Oh. Mum, oh, it's Mum's Net. Cool. They have a Mum's Net? A Mum's Net is like a, 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 a website with mums. Oh. <laughs> Your face is just like, oh, they have a Mum's Net. Is my mum there? <laughs> so Mum's Net, read, read a review. 
This book has the funniest illustrations ever, and you're sure to find yourself laughing out loud on every page. Joe, age 10, first news. <laughs> yeah, just Joe. I like this book because, as I said, it's very hilarious, very funny, very nice. Wait, oh, I thought I saw some of the books. Oh, okay. And I really... <laughs> and seriously, um, it's really funny because here, when we finish the book... Let me just read you, like... When, because, and now they said, So I fainted, like all great men, doing some times of stress. I'm just going to read that part and then I'm going to read the last part. Especially your mother. So please put the book down. It's because it's over. Over. So I'm like, okay, if it's over, I'm just going to read a bit more. So I went, read a bit more and it says, seriously, it's over. <laughs> you never listen, do you? <laughs> and then it says, someone else's note. So I think I know it's Molly Moskins' note. If you haven't watched that last book review, it talks about Molly Moskins, the notorious criminal. And she writes something in his dialogue thingy but i don't want to read it guys because i want you guys to read it but this book is very hilarious very funny and amazing now the going to ask me some questions over to you divine how many stars would you give it i would give this book five stars and if i could give it more i would because it's so hilarious it is <laughs> it is so hilarious so funny so amazing so good drawings <laughs> And so nice. Um, and who would you recommend it for? I would recommend it for nines and well, I don't know now because yeah, nine and over because it's so funny, so nice. It has some humour. It has some like very nice, weird attitude and stuff. So yeah. Mm. Who's your favourite character and why? My favourite character is Timmy Fallon. Everybody knows now. I hope you do, guys. But if you're new, it doesn't matter. We will just let you off. But if you're new. But everybody who's watched our videos knows that I don't pick the favourite character, the main character, because they're... The favourite, well, main character. Character, because... Main. The favourite character is... <laughs> the main character, because it's the main character. I pick the main character because it's... The, you get to know them. You get, you get to, to see another side of them. You get to do a lot of things and everything. And I feel like you get to have a one-way connection with them. Because <laughs> in this book, he's just like, seriously, just Yes, yeah, so a connection. It so, yeah. Any more questions? Um, no, thank you. Okay. Uh, so, that's all. I've read all the um, nice comments and everything and the next book we're going to be reviewing is Timmy Failure the cat stole my pants <laughs> okay. don't ask what's happening this is from America so they didn't really steal his real pants if that's what you think don't worry really they stole his trousers okay oh, this well that's good. still bad though <laughs> yeah. anyway the next book we're going to be reviewing next week is the cat stole my pants next week 11 45 please watch out the cat now. stole my pants <laughs> trousers yes now please like share and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you always know when there's a new video see you next time on the siblings one bye, bye.